Ford, General Motors, Toyota, or Tesla? Which one of these stocks should you buy in 2022? And more importantly, which one is gonna make you the most money? And since I know you guys don't give a crap about deep fundamental analysis, I'm gonna skip past all of that. I'm gonna give you a summary of each company, and I'm also going to give you a valuation on each of these stocks. Just keep in mind that I will not be covering the business case for each of these stocks, and we are looking at this purely from the basis of past and current financials. So the question is, which one of these four stocks deserves your capital allocation? So let's start off with Ford Motor Company. They have an enterprise value of 147 billion. Market cap is sitting at 50.2 billion. Insiders hold 0.2% of the stock and institutional holding is sitting at 53.95. The short interest on the stock is currently 3.18%. The stock does pay a dividend of 3.2%. And looking at that net free cash flow after dividend, they're sitting with 9.3 billion. Looking at our screening summary, we can see on the fundamentals, 60% of our requirements have been met on the debt management, 33.3, nothing on the momentum side, and 50% on the growth factors. Looking at the current market pricing, we're sitting at $12.50. The analyst consensus is $19.94. The valuation based on the free cash flow is coming out at $19.86, and the valuation against earnings per share is coming out at $10.44. Now stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to be giving you my personal valuation where I think the stock is headed over the next 12 months. So now let's quickly jump in and see how General Motors is shaping up. GM has an enterprise value of 135.8 billion. The current market cap is sitting at 52.7 billion. Insiders hold 4.93% of the stock, whilst institutional holding is sitting at 83%. Short interest on the stock, pretty low at 2.19%, and they do have negative net free cash flow. Looking at our screening summary, the fundamentals are scoring 60% on our requirements, 33% on debt management, momentum is unproven, and growth is sitting at 50%. Looking at the different price models, the current market price is sitting at $35.40. The analyst consensus, very bullish, at $61.29. Our valuation based on the free cash flow, which is of course negative, is coming out at a negative valuation. And if we look at the earnings per share on a DCF model, we're coming out at $38.26. Now just keep in mind, I will be giving my personal price verdict on all of the stocks, including GM, towards the end of this video. So now let's take a look at Toyota. Enterprise value is sitting at 2.8 billion. The current market cap, 220.1 billion. Uh, insider and institutional holding is very, very small. Short interest is equally small, 0.06%. Dividend yield of 2.87%. And if we look at that free cash flow after dividend, it is negative. So looking at the screening summary, we're coming out at 60% of our requirements on the fundamentals. Debt management is sitting at 33%. Momentum is sitting at 16.67%. And growth is faring a little bit better at 50%. Looking at our pricing on the current price, we're sitting at 158.66. The analyst consensus is 190.05 cents over the next 12 months. The free cash flow valuation is negative because they have negative free cash flow. And looking at that earnings per share on a DCF model, we're coming out to $174.28. Now remember to stick around because I am going to be giving you my personal price verdicts on all of these stocks at the end of this video. And finally, let's take a quick look at Tesla before we head into our side-by-side -side comparison shootout. Tesla has a current enterprise value of $676 billion. The market cap is sitting at $687 billion. Insider holding is extremely strong at 17.26% and institutions currently hold 43% of the stock. The short interest is relatively small considering the current market conditions, 2.8%. And looking at that free net cash flow after all expenses, we're sitting on 6.9 billion. Looking at our screening summary, fundamentals, 60% of our requirements met, debt management, 100%, momentum, 100%, and growth, 100%. Looking at the different price models, the current market pricing sitting at 663.90. Looking at the analyst consensus, they're coming in at $960. And then looking at the free cash flow and earnings per share valuations, these are pretty low, but to be fair, they probably aren't the best models to look at when evaluating the stock. So now let's talk about the real reason why you clicked on this video and that is because you wanna know which one of these four stocks is the best to own and which one is gonna make you the most money. Now, I'm gonna go through this as quickly as possible. I don't wanna bore you guys to death, but there are a couple of really interesting numbers that I want you to pay attention to. So the first thing is looking at all four of these companies, all of them have a market cap in excess of a billion. In fact, quite a lot more in excess. 
However, looking at the insider holding, this is where I found something really interesting. Tesla by far has the greatest insider sentiment with 17% of the stock being held by insiders. And then if we look at the short interest, Toyota is actually winning out with the least amount of shares short, and that is sitting at 0.06%. And then if we look at those net free cash flows after dividend and all expenses, the only two companies that actually have positive free cash flows is uh, Ford and Tesla, would you believe it? Now, as we move into the screening summary, again, this is a very interesting picture. On the fundamentals, all of the companies are scoring 60%, but pretty much on everything else, debt management, momentum, and growth, Tesla is just leaps and bounds ahead of everybody else, scoring 100% on all of our criteria. So now we get to the part that you have been waiting for, which is which one of these stocks has the most growth potential and what are my price predictions around the stock and which of the stocks would I actually recommend should be in your portfolio. Now looking at these stocks, all of them offer something slightly different, but what we are doing is we are evaluating them purely based on the current and past financials. And so we are leaning heavily into the fundamentals in this evaluation. Now looking at Ford, this is my number one recommendation. I currently project a potential 24% margin over the next 12 months. My price projection is 1550, and I do have a buy rating out based on the fundamentals, as well as of course, the financial situation that they're currently in. Now, if I look at General Motors, we've got a price projection of 3850, a potential margin of 876. I am, however, neutral on the stock because I do believe that uh, it doesn't provide the greatest opportunity for growth. And looking at all of these stocks, of course, if I am allocating capital, Ford does make sense to me. And then looking at Toyota, that is a potential 7.15% margin. Uh, I am currently neutral on the stock again. Not a bad set of fundamentals on the stock. However, I do feel that once again, if we're looking at capital allocation, it would have to go to Ford. And then the big one, which everybody's probably gonna hotly debate is Tesla. Now my price projection over the next 12 months is $500. Now of course that is considerably below where it's currently trading. If we look at the current potential margin, it is a loss of 24%. I am once again neutral on the stock. I don't believe it is a sell just yet, but I think there is a lot of volatility ahead in the stock. And I also think the fact that they have had such a good run up uh, in terms of the current set of financials, there is potentially a little bit of turmoil up ahead. Of course, you also have to pay attention to the macroeconomic picture. Now, one of the things that paid heavily into my decision-making on the stock had a lot to do with, of course, debt ratios and different gearings. And looking at all of these stocks, I think Ford is probably not only the safest bet long-term, but I also think it is one that provides the greatest potential for return in terms of your capital. So there you have it, my price projections on uh, Ford 1550, GM coming out at 3850, Toyota I'm coming out at 170 and I'm sitting on a very controversial $500 for Tesla. Now, if you are one of those people who loves the in-depth fundamentals, I have of course skipped over those in this video to keep it simple and light for everybody. You can go and download my stock sheets that I've run on each one of these stocks and uh, the link is in the description down below. All you have to do is go across to our website, register on the website if you're not already registered and head over to the stock sheet download section. Now, if you do have any questions on this analysis and comparison that I've just run, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you do have any specific stocks that you'd like me to compare in up and coming videos, be sure to let me know in the comment section as well. And just a quick reminder that if you are looking to take some stock investing courses and up your knowledge, then you can head over to our website, globalmoneyacademy.com, and you can get access to all of our courses absolutely free of charge. And uh, if you haven't checked out one of the videos that I put out recently, which is talking about the recession and how everybody's got it absolutely wrong in terms of the investment strategy, make sure you check out this video next.